got a Border Terrier. If you ask many Border Terrier owners, they probably thought this question to themselves as well. After they got the dog, they're probably there thinking, Why did I get a Border Terrier? Why didn't I get something easier? Honestly, that's a fact. We thought that, my family. We were phoning up the Border Terrier Club, we were phoning up breeders saying, Why is my dog doing this? And they said, well, it's Border Terrier. This video isn't going to be me saying, oh, Border Terrier is the best dogs ever, because they're not. Uh, to me they are, but they're not to everyone. Um, they don't fit into every household, uh, they just won't adapt to some situations. So if you want a video saying, yeah, go out and get a Border Terrier, this is not it. Go away, please, because they don't suit everyone and you can't pretend that they will because uh, there's a rising number of Border Terriers in rescue because people think, yeah, these dogs are great, they're cute, and that's it. Uh, yeah, they are cute, but also they are Terriers. If that doesn't mean anything to you, then, you know, look it up. <laughs> they're also dogs. Dogs in general, they don't adapt to everything. So, if you want a perfect dog, pop off to um, Toys R Us because they've got this great new range of robot dog things and they do everything you want them to. So, if that's the kind of dog you want, Toys R Us. If you want a real dog that you can train and you know that you'll have to train and you know that you'll have to work with, then actually research into getting a dog or a rescue dog. Now the boring bit's over, hopefully. Before you get a Border Terrier, research it. There are books and, and books and books and books about Border Terriers. You'll find them in pet shops, online, at dog shows, whatever. Alright? Read them. Go online. Read what they say about Border Terriers online. Because you need to know about the dog and you need to research it before you get one. Ugh, why don't people do this? In all honesty, I got all of these books after I got my first Border Terrier. Looking back, that was probably a really bad idea. I probably should have researched it more. Then again, if I did research them more, I may not have ended up with one. So, I'm gonna close that window. Be right back. Okay, so we all know that Border Terriers can be trained. Now let's look online. Here is just a generic dog breed website. And it says, um, based on ratings, under the breed characteristics, uh, out of five, Border Terriers have three stars for trainability. In my opinion, I'd give them five stars. But I've been lucky with my dogs, and I've also trained them from a young age. If you don't have either of these things, then they could be an absolute nightmare. And I know that from experience, because I've seen Border Terriers that are nightmares. Their owners would admit that they're nightmares. And Border Terriers have actually got the snazzy nickname Border Terrorists because they can attack other dogs, they dig holes, holes all the time, holes everywhere. Mine dig holes. I have like seven gardens backing onto our garden and the dogs have got tunnels going into every single one of these gardens. They bark at things, they can pull on their leads, they don't always learn things first time, they don't always come back when they call, in fact I've heard that they don't even often come back when they call. I haven't experienced this with my own dogs, but I know lots and 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 lots, and lots of people have. Border terrorists! Probably shouldn't do that. Border terriers were originally bred as ratters or to pursue foxes or badgers and hunt them down and sometimes go to ground, which means like go underground and get a fox. Right, this is like considering border terriers are like this big and foxes are like this big, or maybe it depends on the size of the fox really, but foxes are pretty big compared to border terriers. These dogs are tough and they will not back down. So if your dog gets in a fight with another dog, do not expect them to be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're submissive. Yeah, imagine them to go in all guns blazing. And often is a border terrier that starts to fight. I hate to say it, but it's true. And even Hazel, one of my ones, she, she 
likes fighting. I've tried to train her outfit and she's pretty good now, but like sometimes you just she starts a fight and it's like, Hazel, what are you doing? Get, pull yourself together, man. Border Terriers are smart, we all know that. And if you've looked at any of my videos and my dog's doing tricks, you'll see that they're really adaptable and they learn things quickly. And well, I'm not <laughs> I'm making it sound like I'm the only person who's trained their border terrier. That is not true. Although, may I say Lots of people are scared of training border terriers because online people say, "Ha ha ha! It's a terrier. You can't train terriers. What? Why would you even try to train a terrier? If you want a dog to train, get a border collie." No. All right. Terriers are really smart dogs, and you can train them if you try. Don't be put off by that old lady who sat there like, mm, "I can't train my dog. Therefore, you can't train your dog." I'm being mean, saying it's a lady. It might not be a lady, but anyway. Don't be put off by people like that, because Border Terriers are freaking awesome dogs! And you can train them, so train them, and they need training. If you want a dog that's well socialised, and well adaptable, and just awesome to be around, then train it. Puppy training, socialisation, basic good manner training, like sitting down when people come in, or like you know, just not barking at everything, that's just basic and people don't do it because they think, oh my god, it's a terrier sorry with all the rising inflections but it's just the way people are training is the way forward not sitting on your butt doing nothing that brown was in a book ah, that was a bit off topic okay, I'm back to the facts. Let's have another look at this generic dog website. The terrier attitude is also very prevalent in border terriers. These dogs are bred to be ratters for the flip's sake. I mean they're gonna have a really strong hunting instinct and if you have a cat that lives next door you're border terrier. Nine times out of ten a border terrier will want to chase that cat or get to that cat if you have squirrels in your garden or foxes nine times out of ten a border terrier is going to be like rawr, 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 let's go get these squirrels and foxes um, if you're out walking and then there's a, like a, a rat runs across the road I uh, hope this doesn't happen to many people because that would be a bit gross I've never actually experienced a rat running out in front of me maybe I should use a different animal perhaps a cat if you're out walking and a cat runs in front of you your dog is going to be like, whoa, and drag you across to try and get that cat. Probably. I say probably because all dogs are different, and some border terriers may not even give a flying flip about animals in general, but Bramble does. Can I tell you a funny story? Let's interject. Story time. In the life and times of Bramble. Okay. So once upon a time, Bramble, Hazel and I were doing a display at one large pet show in London that I'm not going to name, but I'll give you a clue, it's a pet show in London. So we just finished our display in the main arena of this pet show in London. And um, so the, the show organisers opened the gate so we can come out of the main arena and Bramble just darted off, gone. Hazel stayed with me because she was too lazy to run off. Um, and the thing is, I couldn't go and find Bramble because there were so many people gathered round to take photos of the dogs and like say hi and stuff. Um, so I was just kind of stuck there with only one dog. Yeah, so anyway, once the group of congregating people had died down a little bit, I went off to go find Bramble. Where did I find her? And where did I find her? But sat with a group of little toddlers outside a little pen full of micro pigs. She'd run off because she'd seen the micro pigs walking in. She'd run off and she just sat there looking at these pigs. That is a terror for you. Terrible terrier. Alright, so dogs are. Uh, Dogs, border terriers tend to be healthy. That's a bit of a sweeping term there because tend to be healthy. I have two, and one of them's healthy, one of them isn't that healthy. There are loads of newish 
diseases that water terriers are starting to get including CCS which is canine epileptoid cramping syndrome according to the kennel club Border Terriers live over 12 years, that's the average lifespan of Border Terriers. I know of some Border Terriers that have lived to like 18, 19, and that's pretty amazing. I have got a book somewhere that says the dog with the longest lifespan out of all breeds is the Border Terrier. I don't know how old this book is and how legitimate it is, but I saw that and I thought, yes. That said, Border Terriers aren't guaranteed to live that long, obviously. I mean, that's a given. And also, uh, one of the number one causes of death in water terriers is trauma. So that's like chasing a rabbit off a cliff or like running in front of a car whilst chasing a cat. All right, these dogs will chase, as I've already gone through, they will chase. One of the contributing factors of a water terrier when I researched them was that apparently they didn't shed. Utter rubbish, okay? These dogs shed, and they shed a lot. Their fur comes out, even though they need to be stripped, they have an undercoat, and it sheds, okay? If you, like, we have to hoover the house all the time because they shed. They actually shed. So, the computer and the books, they lie if they say that they don't shed. Liars everywhere! glad I've got that over and done with. But talking of shedding uh, comes on to the um, topic of grooming. Uh, border terriers need to be stripped as you've seen in my lovely videos which have got loads of downward thumbs because apparently it looks like I'm being mean but I promise I'm not being mean that's what you have to do. You have to, sh well you don't have to, I mean you can clip them but the majority of people do strip their border terriers as thumb and forefinger and that takes flipping ages but it's worth it because it makes their coat waterproof and lovely. But again, you can you can clip them. Um, it does change the texture of their coat and it makes it less waterproof. But some dogs prefer it. Some dogs are sensitive. They have to be groomed. They do take grooming, and it's quite a bit of grooming. Not very often, but when it does happen, it's a lot. Right on this website, it says uh, minimum garden size, small slash medium. I'd say that's minimum medium, really, not small, because. Well, I guess if you're going to walk them a lot, that border terriers need exercise, that's what I'm getting at. They need exercise, they're not a dog that can just sit on the sofa and do nothing. They need exercise, they love exercise. So, um, even though on some websites it says, you know, they only need half an hour walk a day, I'd think at least an hour. And they need to be walked every day, it's not a dog that you can just have a small house and leave them be. They need to be walked, they love it outside, they're working dogs. They were bred to be working dogs, they are essentially a working terrier, quoted from the Kennel Club breed standard. There you go, get me. The water terriers are puppies, they are really, really cute. When they're adults, they're also really, really cute. But then there's a stage in the middle called Adolescence. Ba, ba, ba. And basically, in that time, the puppy is like discovering adulthood. Also, Hazel is in this Adolescence stage. She was an absolute nightmare, right? Because she still has these little puppy teeth and like nah, 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 biting everyone, and it hurts. Puppy teeth are like needles, and we used to run away from her, which in hindsight isn't the best thing to do. But I was like, what, ten or eleven, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, young. Anyway, and I was like, oh my god, she's gonna kill me, and I run away from her, and she will attack my feet. And no word of a lie, every single one of our friends and every single member of our family had scars all over their feet because Hazel would attack their feet. My mum was so exasperated by this, she was just thinking, what, what have we done getting this dog? So after this long-winded little story that I just gave you, which wasn't really that relevant, I'm just telling you that even if a dog seems well trained, like Hazel and Bramble are now, they're not perfect and we need to get this into our heads people that no dog is perfect so basically at the end of the day water terriers are awesome in my opinion they are freaking awesome dogs but also they're not faultless if you want a faultless dog do you know you're in daydream land young man slash lady so if you want a faultless dog that's out of the question 
all breeds have their faults but if you want a dog that loves exercise that can be a bit feisty that likes digging but also is really smart and doesn't need an excessive amount of grooming um, is pocket sized but also you know a proper dog although I hate that term so much because all dogs are proper dogs because they're flipping dogs but anyway if you want a dog like that an border terrier could be for you <laughs> have actually asked this question to themselves as well. Why did I pick this dog? Right. Are you done now?